Hi, this is Let's Talk About Yu-Gi-Oh! And today I want to talk about more Metal Foe Yang Zane. So, the thing I want to talk about today is playing Yang Zane, either uh, round two or round three, against different decks when you know what the deck is. And a lot of this revolves around playing Chao Fang, Phantom of the Yang Zane. Essentially what Chao Fang does is the different Yang Zing monsters you use to make it, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects of that specific type. Another card that this is going to revolve around for this specific combo is Herald of the Arclight. Today I'm going to be talking specifically about Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes is going to be in the meta for a while, so you're going to want to have both a Herald of Arclight and a Chao Feng on the field. If they cannot activate light effects, then they essentially are pretty much screwed, and if they can't send cards to Graveyard in order to trigger those light effects, they are also cannot activate anything. So this combo is going to be a one negate combo with a Chao Fang and a Herald of Arclight left on field, uh, along with a Zephyr Inu and a Yang Zing creation. So let's get started. So for this combo, you're going to need the standard one metal foe, three Yang Zing. There's another combo that features Chiwen that I'm going to show toward the end of the video. Uh, but for now, all you're going to need is one metal foe and two normal summonable effect monster Yang Zings. So, first things first, you're going to go ahead and activate one of your metal foe. You don't need another Metal Foe in hand, this is just going to be our random 5th card in hand for now. So you're going to activate your Metal Foe, Normal Summon one of your Poppable Effect Monsters. Then, Silvered is going to activate, popping your Bixie in order to summon, or in order to set a combination, in order to summon a Jiaotu. After that, you can use your Jiao to effect to tump, dump your two Yang Zing in order to summon from the deck Chiwen and a Zephyr Inu. After that, you're going to go ahead and Synchro Summon for your first Baxia. After you make your first Baxia, you want to activate Baxia's effect by popping the combination in order to summon the effect monster that you did not destroy in order to summon Jiaotu from the deck. In this case, Pulau. Combination effect is going to trigger, and you're going to grab a Metal Foe from deck and add it to hand. Then, you're going to go ahead and activate your other Metal Foe. Now what you want to do is you want to Synchro Baxia and Chiwen to make your Mono Light Chao Fang. This is going to lock out all of their monster effects. So their White Stones can't activate, their Sages can't activate, Effect Veilers can't activate, a whole bunch of stuff can't activate. After this you're going to use your second Metal Foe Scale effect in order to pop the Pulau. Pulau and Chiwen's effect are going to trigger, Special Summoning out first a BN from deck from Pulau, and then achieve one by its own effect. After this, you're going to go ahead and synchro summon with the Chi Wen and the BN for Herald of Arclight. This is going to act as a macro cosmos, so if they try to activate Dragon's Ravine or anything like that, they won't be able to. It also is functions as a negate, so it'll protect you from cards like Regeki. Then you're going to go ahead and Pendulum Summon out a Zephyrinu. And Zephyrinu is going to go ahead and search for a Yang Zing creation. The reason why you're not going to search Zephyr Divine Strike here is because you have no way of getting a Zephyrinu into extra deck again. So, the next best thing is going to be a Yang Zing creation. That's the one thing that this combo specifically struggles with, is that you only have one negate, and your one negate happens to be your Herald of Arclight. So, 
if they regeki you and then they activate a dragon's ravine, they're still going to have uh, cards in the graveyard and cards that they're going to want in the graveyard sometime. Now, because Chow Fang's on the field, they can't activate their white stone effects or any other light monster effects for that matter. But it's always just safe to make both uh, Herald of Arc Light and Chow Fang just to shut down anything else that they could do. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the combo that features Chi Wen in the hand. So for this next combo, what you're going to want to do is your goal is going to be to make a Baxia or to end on a Baxia, a Herald of Arclight, and a Chao Fang with a Zephyr Divine Strike and Metal Foe combination set. So in order to do that, we're going to need either a Jiao Tu or a Popable Effect Monster in hand, a Metal Foe, and a Chi Wen. And then you just have a fifth random card that you don't really need. So, in order to do this, we could summon the Jiao Tu first, ditch both Yang Zings uh, to summon a random Yang Zing and a Zephyr Inu, and then just use the Metal Foe effect to pop the random Yang Zing to get another random Yang Zing in order to set a card. Um, but since we have the effect monster and you're probably not going to have a Jiao Tu in hand, uh, it's just less likely, uh, we'll go ahead and go the effect monster route. So, gonna go ahead and activate your steel in, summon your Suwani. So, you can pop your Suwani to set a combination and summon a Jotu. After summoning the Jotu, you're gonna go ahead and ditch your Chiwen and your random other Yang Zing card. What you're going to be summoning with this is a random effect Yang Zing and a Zephyr Inu. After this, you're going to go ahead and make your first Baxia. You're going to use this Baxia's effect to pop the combination in order to special summon a Jiao Tu from Grave. And then combinations effect is going to trigger, and you're going to add a metal foe from deck to hand. After this, you're going to activate the metal foe. And Pendulum summon the Zephyrinu. After Pendulum summoning the Zephyrinu, you can go ahead and search your Zephyr Divine Strike. And set it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to make another Baxia. And pop one of your scales. Now you want to pop the scale that has not used its effect yet because we're going to need the new scales effect here in a sec. With this you're going to be summoning Chi Wen from the grave. Then you use your Baxia and your Chi Wen in order to summon your Chao Feng. Your last metal foe effect is going to trigger popping the Bixie in order to use Bixie's effect and Chi Wen's effect. Where you're going to be special summoning out here is the BN and the Chi Wen from Grave. It's for this reason that when you special summon a random Yang Zing from Jiao Tu's effect, it cannot be BN because you're going to need to pop it in order to special summon Chi Wen from the graveyard. Then, because you used a Metal Foe effect, you're going to set combination. Again, the way that resolves is you're setting combination first and then your Chi Wen and BN effects are going to trigger. Then, you're going to sickle for your Herald of Arclight, thus completing your board. So, we ended on one random card at hand, 
a metal foe, and a combination engrave so that you can search out a scale later. A mono light Chaofeng, which is going to negate all light effects. A Herald of Arc Light that's battle immune so that they can't attack over it just by summoning something that can get over Herald of Arc Light. And you've got your Zephyr Divine Strike with a Zephyrino engrave. So in total, that's two negates. Uh, essentially a complete scale unless they pop it with an effect and a model light chow fang plus a herald uh, so thank you very much for watching if there's something you could improve on on this combo let me know in the comments and if there are other cards that would help further this combo uh, please also comment like if you enjoyed and uh, thanks for watching